Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to create multi-functioning buttons. Now in iPhone Simulator here, I have an example of what we'll be creating today. We have a simple button here and it's going to perform three tasks. The first one is it will display text in our label. The second task it will change the label colour and the third task it will do is set an image in our image view which is just underneath our label. Now it's going to perform three tasks at once so we hit the button, text has been displayed, it's now changed to blue and we have an image that has been displayed. So that's simply what we're going to do today so already have my project set up it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've named it multi buttons for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we want to do is add in our action button and the outlets for our label and our image view. So if you go into our view controller.h and I'll zoom in for you now and just after you have view controller do bracket and press enter now we create two IB outlets so the first one will be our label asterisk and I'll name it label and the second outlet can be an image view and I'll name this image view. So it's really easy to understand when we come to the coding. Now we need to add our action button. So dash bracket IB action. We just need to get rid of this sender there. And I simply name it push me. And end that with a semicolon. And then we can save that. And that's all the actions and the outlets we need. So I can zoom out now. And now go to our view controller.m. And just after the implementation, let's press enter a few times so we have a fair bit of room to see what we're typing. Now we just type out our action button, which we named it push me. So you space bracket and a um, press enter, sorry. And now we do the first line of code or the first action we want it to perform. So if we do label dot text equal, space equals at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and that of a semicolon then in between the two quotation marks we're going to simply type out text has been displayed so now basically as soon as we hit the button our label will display this text here in between the two quotation marks so if I just save that now I quickly go into our view controller.xib. We'll add in a round rect button and our label. We'll also add in our image view. So we have the interface all done, so it's just out of the way. And if we go into our mode here and do it aspect fit, it means it will fit the image into proportion to the image view so it's not out of shape or looks stretched or in any way so it looks okay so we'll end the button push me and we click onto files owner and link up all our connections so image view goes to our image view label simply to our label and push me to our push me button and do something simple like touch down so you can save that now and if you want to pause the video or go back and catch up on any of that interface there but we just build it now to get out of the way so I can explain more on the multifunction of the button. So, so far, if I just quickly zoom in again, the button is all it's going to do now is display this text here. Text has been displayed in our label. So, if I just quickly go to build and run, just to quickly show you how it's going to work. So, if we hit the button, the label says text there, but we need to make the label a little bit bigger. So if we just simply stretch out the label, and I'll just quickly center the text. So you go back into build and run. So now press the button again with our extended label. It should display all our text. So there we go. Text has been displayed. So if now if we go back into our view controller.m, and now we will create a second action for our button. So this time, we're going to have the label change colour. 
Now, there's two ways of adding a second action. You can simply write out a second line, or you can create a new set of brackets. For example, do bracket, and then press enter again, so it has a set of brackets within the brackets of the action. But the first, uh, oh, our second action we're going to create, well, I'll just do a second line, so if I do label dot text color space equals space bracket UI color space and just like with any simulator I have a blue color so type in blue color bracket semicolon so if you save that and I'll zoom out now so basically it's going to display our text in our label and it's going to change the label to blue so if you go to build and run So okay then, so now once it's loaded, you press the push me button. The text has been displayed and it's now changed the label to blue. So we go back into our coding, and this time we want the image to display in our image view. So on the desktop here, I have my image. I simply to my project now. Gonna make sure it's copied to the destinations group folder and press finish. So then once it's in, I'll zoom back into our code. Now this time, I will create the extra set of brackets, just so it splits up this code from all the other code, as I didn't do it to the text color here, as it's, in a way, it's a part of the first line here with the text displaying, so I'm just creating it here, just so it separates it and breaks it up from our first two actions. So then here then I'm going to do UI image space asterisk and I name it IMG space equals space again UI image and then image named and then the M string here we do the name of our image which mine is simply lemon.png. Then after the quotation mark there, we do a bracket and a semicolon. We hit enter, we do bracket, and the name of our image view outlet, which we named it image view, space set image, and we're going to set it to what we named it, the img, and then with a bracket and a semicolon. Now save that. So basically now what our button is going to do is display our text, then change the text color to blue, and then it's going to display an image in our image view, all when we press the button, so it's performing three actions in one. Now you can change, and this is just a basic example of how to make the button do multiple actions, so you could change this for as it you know, switches view and plays a sound, or an alert pops up and or plays a video or anything like that, so it just does, just does more than one action when you press the button. So if we zoom out now and go to build and run, so okay, and once it's loaded, I'll hit our button and it will perform the three actions, and there we have it. Text has been displayed, the color has changed to blue, and it's also displayed our image in our image view. Now, this, like I said before, is just a basic tutorial and showing you how to make buttons do more than one action. So I hope you guys can learn from this and expand on it, like for example playing videos and displaying more images or playing sounds and switching your views or alerts and random number generators. It, possibilities are completely endless. So I just hope this gives you a basic understanding on how buttons can do more than one action. So I hope you like this video, make sure you like it, favourite it, Leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you want to give us any feedback on how we can improve our tutorials. And if you haven't, make sure you go check out all our apps which are currently in the App Store. All the links will be in the description below. Make sure you follow us and like us on Facebook and Twitter. And most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next video. Hey guys, Aaron here. Please support us by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter and checking out all our apps by simply searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. 
And make sure you visit our website where we have a full list and full source code for all our tutorials. And visit our blog, forums and all the other great features we have to offer on our website.